Uh, some blue red surveil. I'm down just like just like in the timeless build. I think you just want to play two enhanced surveillances because the combo is kind of like slow and kind of like you know what you kind of get into, which also makes me not sure that you want to play an offer you can't refuse. But I think I think you still do. Um, so to make the combo one less mana overall when you do have those combo games. I have the third one in the sideboard when you want to be comboing a little bit more aggressively. Um, I guess that's the big change. I, 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 Ledger Shredder has also been really performing well, so I, I end up uh, cutting the third surveillance for the third Shredder, wanting to like dig a little bit deeper for the combo, which I think I think makes uh, makes sense. Yeah, Hunter Burton is this weekend. Uh oh, Karuga! <laughs> what the heck? Um, we can combo through a Scion potentially, or we can also get Legend Shredder big enough to be out of range. I'm not too surprised if they keep a double Leyline Hand that they have the Scion. The Karuga Titan combo deck. I've heard tales of the Karuga Titan combo deck, but never did I think I'd see it in action one day. I did see many today's living in Brew, so it looked pretty cool. Wrap with the six months again. Thank you. Welcome back. Second Chandler is kind of <laughs> dangerous against the Scion. Probably gonna have to connive it away. Hopefully, find something to connive with in the first place. And the the goal is to just get this up to three five and stabilize, and then combo. Oh fuck! Wait, and you have another spell? Leyline binding, I'm assuming. I'm open to keeping this, but I have another way for me to beat the Scions. Guess we could rid that instead. Maybe chump block with this if I find Delirium, but not find Delirium. What is their, what card do they have up here? Spell Pierce? They can't have Spell Miss Dispute. And they just have the binding. Okay. Um, but they're binding. Okay, they're binding the wrong thing. <laughs> Probably. Kurgan hand, maybe. Two cards left. Kurgan hand. Do you have a land? They do have a land, so they'll draw like five next turn. So Unholy Heat is useless. Let's go second main phase again. Play the breach first. Surveil. Hmm. A little light on resources too. Yeah, I guess I guess I just have to consider connive. So I, I, I'm going to lose the offer. You can't refuse part of the combo, which may be may be too tough, but I don't really see another way out of this. Can block here. So we have delirium, which allows us to chump block, which I think is going to be pretty necessary. Although I could also just play this card again and then chump block next turn, take four. Yeah, 18 lands, by the way. Just always flooding with 18 lands. I think we'll keep another Shredder for next turn. Well, can't really beat the Karuga, so... Good shit, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, this deck gets to play offense and defense really well. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it overall. Maybe forgot to ban something. I think anybody banning, wanting to ban Leyline Scion, it's just like, it's just way too early. The deck does not seem like it's putting up the numbers to, to be ban worthy, and it doesn't seem like. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not. I'm not there yet, personally. Some people are there. Too, are very there, though. They just drew five cards. So crazy, companions. Huh? Still, still some companions running around. Uh, might as well connive into this. Karuga Domain Rhinos is probably going to take the read. Karuga Rhinos, huh? It's pretty big brain to think to put Karuga in the Rhinos deck. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> this is Oxus Pick. This is uh, Pretty big brain to put Karuga in the Rhinos deck. Can't believe nobody thought of that before. All right, let's bring in the these Pick Your Poisons. Got the probably third island. Make Karuga Domain. Yeah, I was just teasing you a little bit. Could move off of the combo because they're a force negation deck. Force negation endurance deck. Combo is obviously way important when they are on uh, what's it called? 19 lands, maybe. Let's play, let's play one bolt over the 19 lands so we can like breach bolt to finish. I do, I do like cutting the combo post board in a lot of games. Having access to it is really nice, but it's kind of like Splinter Twin. Sh shave the combo. Kind of a weird one, where uh, this if this was a blue red land. It'd be a bit nicer because I could go this into this plus surveil on turn two. I, I'm gonna click the keep button. I'm not sure how I'm sequencing. I think I'm just gonna cast the phantasm turn one and then we end of turn surveil. Then maybe I get to go like channeler counterspell up. Depends on what we draw, of course. We draw consider a bobble. I'll probably just play the channeler. So yeah, end of, end of turn, surveil. I'll hold up Counterspell for Scion. If they, if they play Scion, I'll... I guess if they play Scion without Leyline, I can... I can actually maybe just try to Unholy Heat it. Not sure. Be a little sad. I didn't play around Fire Ice, but... At least we didn't get Replicate repudiated. Probably kind of forced to kind of spell a Leyline Binding here, too. A little closer to Delirium. Welt with the Nine Months. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. Welcome back. Another Binding. On the Phantasm, four cards in hand. Sign of Draco. So I don't have Delirium at the moment. I'm gonna try to save the heat for this though. Good pickup. Thirteen, put has got four cards in hand. Temple Garden tapped. No Gigantha in hand, so holding something up. Shredder's interesting. Let's keep our mana available for now. They don't have Endurance up. Tide Tidebinder? Kind of smells like a Tidebinder. Where's this unplayable draft common to play? Dude, Thoughtbound Phantasm is it's so good. It, unironically better than Ragavan. We've been playing a lot of it. Got second and timeless with it. Card is crazy. Memory Surveil, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. As long as it has three more counters, can attack as though it didn't have Defender. When I really... Thinking about flashing their Tide Binder and I think... Then, will they, will they do a thing on their Insta? They will not do a thing.
down to nine. Playing a spell, I will counter said spell, or try to at least. About to find Delirium right now. Okay, so let's heed in response to save our Phantasm. Could find Delirium, could get like a nice little sick 2 for 1 here. Not quite that lucky, let's go to Graveyard the Bolt. We do save the Phantasm, get to Surveil again. Um, this gives me Delirium. We could keep it, but I think the problem is just th them having the, the Scion makes it probably too, a little too bad to keep. Draw another counter spell, which is weird. I'm gonna play Shredder this turn. I'm not, not feel, don't feel amazing about it, I guess. Maybe I should have just kept the bolt, and, like two for one myself. Not sure. They're still attacking. I'm going down to five. Do they have Tribal Flames in their deck? Omnath after playing Flooded Strand, Keck W. First strike hex for trample vigilance though. No lifelink. So I'm, I'm hoping they attack with the Omnath, I guess. Oh, I guess they're gonna gain a lot of life. Oh wait, are they, they're saving this for the extra damage. Never mind. Never mind. Now I can't fetch and win the combat here. Good play actually. Oh, you can't have Flames, Karuga, though. A lot of four color today. Will they cast Karuga? Winning this game, very tough. Good, good play with the fetch land, also. Definitely gotta counter this. So they no longer have a good attack with the Phantasm, and then we keep this to look for... On Holy Heat, or it, it, we, theoretically, would be pick your poison, can't pick your poison. Shunt block with the Shredder, unfortunately. One card in their hand. They can also Karuga into their hand, which would be pretty bad. Which is what they do. Can we ever win this turn? Pff, almost impossible, I'm sure. Yeah, too bad. Maybe, maybe there's a spot I could have got green earlier. Not gonna be able to get there at one life. Very close. If we, if we, if we had like one more life to work with, and we could like get breeding pool tapped end of turn. Could have got there. Yeah, they can't have flames because they have Karuga. We get image three, June fourteenth. Okay, I didn't know we had that date set in stone. Three months from tomorrow. Let's go. So against decks that have removal, I tend to le like to lead on the Phantasm. Because the Phantasm's a lot worse if they kill the Channeler. But the Channeler's still good if they kill the Phantasm is kind of the thing. Or like the Phantasm has higher upside, like this too. We also attack for 5 on turn 2 if we draw another Bobble, or Consider. Or, I guess not the Channeler. Yeah, we're still playing the combo. Um, I'm down to only 2 Enhanced Surveillances, because you just have so much... Card selection, and you find it. Also, this is better against Red and Six if that's what they're on. You just have so much card selection. I, I'm, I think you just want to play two. Kind of like the same thing with Timeless. So the Timeless one has Brainstorm, which is kind of why I was thinking two was a bit more acceptable. Hard to graveyard this here, but it's not that good without like anything in the graveyard, and seems okay. Okay, I don't want to surveil that into yard, so I'll just fetch surveil again. No delirium for the channeler yet. Pass the turn. I kind of expect them to cast a removal spell. Looks like they're on maybe creativity. Yeah, almost definitely creativity. Lightning Bolt is good, so we're not just, you know, completely cold to what they've got going on here. They play Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Probably upkeep Bolt the token. They didn't play Fable. 
So, got some options. You can play the enhanced surveillance. I think I'm just going to play the falls and then attack, hopefully for 8. If I grieve with this, I can attack for 8. Keeping it's nice with the Phantasm, but I think just... Let's just get the extra damage in. While they're at 16. If they make a, you know, token in the turn with like Prismari Command, that could be kind of bad. Do they have a binding? They have two bindings to removal spells? Doesn't seem like they do. Uh, seemed like they wanted to play the Fable last turn. They didn't. I'd love to find some interaction. It is some interaction, I guess. It's worth keeping on top. They can creativity on two. Let's let's graveyard. Scared of a Pierce last turn? Not really. They they might have it. I don't know. I guess I guess they get really punished if they have the Pierce and they do this. It's kind of a bummer. Playing Black and Surveil Trap. I hope it's not for Spy Carry Thumb at Orcish Bowmasters. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not quite as Bowmaster brained as everybody else, I think. Bowmaster's a good card, but like. <laughs> people just put it in every fucking deck. Is Blood Moon not good enough for his Domain Zoo or in Modern General? The thing is, it's not very good against Leyline. If they have Leyline in a basic land, uh, your Blood Moon kind of does nothing. So it's kind of high variance. <clears throat> yeah, I was playing 17 lands in Timeless. We have Brainstorm in Timeless over Iteration, so I think you're going to play 18 here. Could, play, go, could go to the 17 and play the 4th Shredder, maybe. 18, you, but you're also kind of mana high. 18 is probably correct. Like, you kind of need a lot of mana to combo sometimes. Another 15, they have four cards in their hand. Taps blue and white and then plays Dover in mind. What are we doing? What's going on? Okay. I'm going to cast the card counter spell. They bolt my channel in response to deny the surveil. Good play. Three cards in there. Well, one card in their hand, sorry. So let's go Channeler. Channeler. Surveillance. And now we're just looking for an Underworld Breach to kill them. Probably graveyarding any non Underworld Breach card. So what happens if they Archon X equals a million next turn? I have five mana. I go breach channeler. Yeah, I, I just I just win even if they creativity for and if they have, if they have creativity plus removal spell after they draw off Archon they lose. We four won the first Coldplay deck league and now we're three o two. Now we're playing a league here. Interesting attack. Double block. Um, basically, what I'm getting would be interesting. The card exists. It's legal in Legacy. It's called Ruination. It would be. It that card is crazy good. It's red instead of white, but same mana, same premium. Red, red and three. All right, so they do creativity X two. They have an, if they have this plus another piece of interaction. Take the L. Ruination would not be playable in modern. It would, I, I think this is, that's probably silly. <laughs> I guess we can beat a removal spell, actually. 
We can beat we can beat lightning, but we can't beat uh, binding. We can beat uh, spell pierce too. So, just gonna bobble until I find my offer you can't refuse. What can you play around Blood Moon but not Ruination, which costs more? What can you play around Blood Moon? What you can play around Blood Moon but not Ruination, which costs more and doesn't stick around? Well, unlike Blood Moon, if you remove, you can't like just like beside you a, uh, a, a a Ruination. Like it just it's just like immediately like a really impactful three for one. And it's also like kind of unlike Blood Moon. It's it's just like it, it's going to be not that good, bad in other matchups. But I don't know, Four Dogs. Let's not argue today, please. <laughs> you can have your hot takes. That's okay. But we don't have to argue super hard. Ruination should, should not be a modern legal card. <laughs> in my opinion, you can we can disagree. One game one, despite getting Archon is nice. Todd with the 18 months, let's go. Thank you so much. He's pretty good, kills Archon, kills Teferi, kills Rin. Just maybe into Pierce. I guess a needle for Rin is okay. Maybe down one heat. Eh. Any thoughts on Archangel's Charm? Is this a real card or are you asking me to design Archangel's Charm for you right now? I think two surveillance is probably a good number. Quick submit. I'll check Mythic Spoiler. I want to see an Archangel's Charm. If you're just asking me to d design the card for you, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Uh, okay, I don't see anything on Mythic Spoiler. Just Jen. Just, just Jen. I guess that, that's allowed here. Sorry, I should not have played this bobble with <laughs> three shredders in my hand. What am I doing? If we get island here, I could draw spell pierce and they could play Rin and Six. Uh, otherwise, I could just consider. How does offer you refuse to enable the combo? Just plus one mana. It's it minus one mana. It make, it make, it base, oh, got the bobble back. Basically makes the combo one less mana to go off. And in that spot, because the combo is one less mana, it means that if our opponent drew spell pierce or lightning bolts, we we'd be able to still combo. Which I think is I think it's, I think it's like just having having this one like kind of bad card in your deck, but th but that is the effect. Is is it's like about worth it? It's kind of kind of borderline. Um, I think I'm graveyarding this. Also kind of borderline. I'll play Shredder. Not so scared of Fable, kind of scared of Teferi. You get reprieved. Change the equation. Okay. Path the Paraverse Dam in the sideboard of Goros. Why why do you want either card in your sideboard? Why do you need to sweep the board? Just put it in tracks into play. I just want to jam a shredder. I don't know. It seems kind of crazy, but I feel like I'm just so behind. If I just try to like hold up counter spell and, and like can't even heat the red in six this turn. Always game three. Look at an unholy heat and archon. You don't have to just give up necessarily. Could also give up. Did you say that Luris ban was the most impactful ban post image two for the format? Mm, probably. 
It wasn't Yorion, it wasn't Bean, it wasn't Fury, it wasn't Violent Outburst, over, over Luris, so... Those have been all of them, I think. White is the worst color of magic generally. This was kind of true, maybe. Maybe it was true. I think it was kind of always propaganda. Uh, people on pe uh, people who like the color white would complain on Twitter for years about white being the worst color and how they never printed any good white cards, blah, 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 blah. They'd go on and on and on. And uh, eventually they started printing a bunch of really, really good white cards. And now white is, well, now white kind of is just very good. If you type exclamation point deck, deck tech pixel, you can get some info. I do deck techs for channel points. Um, three times a stream. If you have 75,000 channel points, I take a look. I would love to look at everybody's deck list. But if I did that, uh, which I, I've even like charged money for it, and it just takes up way too much time on the stream. So, um, Save up. Wait for one of them to be available. I'll take a look. I'm happy to take a look. Four bobbles in my yard. Yeah, we're we're playing off we're playing off where you can't refuse, uh in but in both timeless and modern version Lich. I think black is the worst color of modern. Mm, I mean Yogmoth is really good. Green green is the best color. Green is the best color in modern at the moment. Or it was when Violent Operas was legal. Might still be. Resolves, I got. Why do people play this card? It's so bad. Oh, wait, that's why. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize they were turning off my Delirium. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> come on, Delirium, come back to me. Yes, yes! I should have responded, though. Bowmasters. Bowmasters is, like, not that good. White, white cards are good, printed. I mean, we have Leyline Binding, Solitude, Ephemerate... I guess it's not that recent. Stoneforge Root became good again with coat printing, which is kind of fun. Um, wait, they can flash it back? Oh, dude, I suck so much. Shame. Let's shame concede. Nice little shame concede. Go to game three. I just like don't. I just don't respect turn the earth. <laughs> I just don't respect turn the earth. That card gets put on the stack. I'm like, what are you doing? I'll take blue as the worst colored modern. And this was definitely not true before the banning. I don't know if it might be true now. This is like, Domain Zoo is really, you know, every color besides black. Y'all green, you know, endless mono green, mostly green combo deck, black. I don't know. I think the, the format's like kind of balanced. Gorios is a black deck too. It doesn't feel like the format's particularly imbalanced. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like green is the best, and all the other colors are pretty close. So I, don't, I don't think I could really rank them super hard. Like, Amos only green death deck? Yogmoth, Cascade, uh, <laughs> Zoo, Tron... No, because Cascade's still very much around. Omnath. I don't know, it's just... Green's really fucking good. White might be worse, only good cards binding Solitude. Ephemerate, I mean Ephemerate's doing a lot of work right now, specifically in the Gorios deck too. Don't mind if this got pierced. It was kind of bad to tap out of the spell pierce here. I think I'm just going to get my two for one. We'll see. Yeah, Arden, yeah, Arden Plea. That was actually a big buff for white. Very true. Yeah, maybe, maybe white's the worst color, though. It just goes back and forth all the time, too. Fable. Beat a fable. Great pickup. I 
Isn't green pretty dumb? Green, green is definitely the best color. What people when they think about green? When people think about green, for some reason, everybody's brain is Tarmogoyf. The only green card, Tarmogoyf. Green is the color of broken combos. Green is the color of Charlotte's Agent and Violent Outburst. No, Violent Outburst is banned too. Green is the, is is like Yogmoth is mostly a green deck that is playing a black card to combo with all the green cards. Amy, it's it, it's the Amulet Titan deck. It is. It has it has Neshoba Brawler, Territorial Kavu, Wild Akado, all, all doing super duper well. Sylvan Scrying, Ancient Stirrings, and Tron. Green is like it's green. It's green's non-creature spells that are cooking, you know. Yeah, but Sage, you also do. Yeah, Force of Vigor, pick your poison. Green is green is the best color. <laughs> Hard, you have the whole Arden scales too. It's just this just goes on and on and on and on, but people just can't get it out of their heads that greed is not just big dumb creatures. Yeah, crushing footfalls. It's just it goes on and on and on. We, no, endurance. It's just. <laughs> and green actually has no big dumb creatures. It just has broken combo cards. Broken, like, symmetry-breaking cards. <laughs> Flippadelphia Fable. Likely gonna... Hope, hopefully get to go, like, Chandler, Phantasm, Breach, make this gigantic... Oko, Grave Trail, Once Upon a Time, Uro, Glimpse, Hypergenesis, Outburst, Up the Beanstalk, Summer Bloom, Hogak, Green Sun Zenith, Death Red Shaman, Birthing Pod, all banned green cards. Yeah, it's gotta be more than any other color. I, I just don't know why green doesn't have the reputation of having just bro broken, <laughs> broken, broken spells. <laughs> green is just the color of broken, broken proactive spells. <laughs> Pretty good format identity, huh? So the creativity with Veil up, that would be bad. I'm gonna turn the earth again. A little bit more aware of what's happening now, but I think I'm just okay like letting the channeler die. And um trading it for the Renin Six kinda. Yeah, it's kind of always been like this for green too. You have like Sylvan Library, Drop of Honey, Channel, um, Exploration, Fast Bond, as like a lot of like early broken green cards, and just never has had, <laughs> just always had this bad reputation. Good lobbying, maybe. Yeah, Carpet of Flowers, good example. I need a second phantasm. Hornet sting. Now we're talking. Previewing this is a little bit awkward against the turn of the earth. I guess I do anyways. Yeah, maybe I'll go for a breach next turn. We'll see what happens. But extricate surgically good for timeless would be sick against show and tell. I mean, you have um, test of talents, which is a counter spell that exiles all show and tells. I've been I've been really happy with that card against uh, the show and tell menace. Awesome draw. I guess I didn't need to cast this, because I can get my surveil with the bobble. I 
Land is a good pickup, though. So I can keep the offer you can't refuse up. I also should have let this target the breach already. Maybe they won't target the breach. That would be awesome. They don't target my 5-5. Five five. Like, it's so hard for them to play around me having a bobble in my hand here. <laughs> yeah, cool. Baited them. What's the updates? It's kind of small. I change the sideboard a little bit, and then I, I, I'm, I'm down to just two of the enhanced surveillances. Where you just have so much card selection, it's just not that hard to find it. I didn't really like drawing two copies that often. Um, oh, they remember they had this. It's fine. I still get to flash this back. Um, and then I'm up to three Shredders, and Shredder's been really performing well. Well and binding. It's fine. Shredder doesn't seem so bad. I think I'm knowing that they're drawing binding, keeping the shredder is probably correct. How many bobble I think I only have one bobble draw coming, right? Does the band make me want to play less spell pierce? Spell pierce is still, I think, pretty good. Is offering the deck for comboing. Yeah, it makes your combo one less mana, basically. So they shuffled away the binding. They're drawing a bolt. So if they're getting Blood Crypt in the turn here, they def one of their cards in hand is definitely Archon of Cruelty. So I'm not going to counterspell Lightning Bolt. Would I maybe offer You Can't Refuse? I, don't th I think no. I can just keep my 5-5 five five in play, probably. In the Moxfield Hoax, where you can find all the deck lists that we host, you... Go to Moxfield slash user slash aspiring spike or exclamation point Moxfield in the chat or exclamation point deck in the chat. Yeah, we played Blood Brave Marauder Living End. It was uh, mid, I think. So they can start using this reflection to make blockers for my Phantasm. Saying I have a Ruby Tier 2 is on hinge, you have to be baiting. It would be. <laughs> it would be bad against Titan and Yogg for sure. I I I I actually I, I like I know it's I don't think you should have banned it, but I, I do think it would be a lot less good than people think. Like it would it would be bad against Titan and Yogg. It would likely be bad against Rhinos still. It'd be good against Murktide. <laughs> But Murktide also gets to play 2 mana, 8-8. Eight, eight. Not that you should, I don't think you should have banned it, but... Especially with them printing new Eldrazi's. But it, 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 we're just, we're playing a very different format than we were playing when... When Eldrazi Winter happened. And I played during Eldrazi Winter. It was rough. It was really rough. But removal was also really bad back then. Or Urza Saga would also just like solo Eldrazi, I, like maybe they would play it and it would be bad. Yeah, like I, yeah, like I, like I, I, don't, I don't think it would be a tier one deck, but I, I don't, I don't think it would be a good unban either. This is a bad card, but we play it because our, it makes our combo. Just having one copy of this in our deck means that uh, means that our combo is one less mana. Wait, why are they doing this on their turn when they have a creativity? They have creativity Archon. Eldrazi would play Saga. Yeah, Eldrazi would play Saga, and it wouldn't be very good in their deck. Like, Urza Saga is not very good in decks that um, you're just, like, making two three threes. <laughs> oh, God, could be hated. Eldrazi couldn't. Yeah, I mean, Eldrazi could not be hated out at the time. Now it could be. Now it could be, absolutely. But at the time, removal was, was just too bad. I guess, we're, I guess their last card was not Archon. So let me go, I would be remiss if I saw a spell pierce off this consider and I had to use offer you can't refuse. I guess I'll use counter spell instead too, because I can don't have to give them a uh, two treasures. So 
So why did they make a copy? Eh? Let's target both of these. Resolves you in. Isn't it correct to offer the creativity to be better against top deck Darkon? Yeah. Kind of not really changing. How's the deck under control? I think it's okay. They have Chalice and stuff. They top decked a, <laughs> a Dorvid Mine. So they can keep blocking my Phantasm. Although, now we just win. We spell pierce our own enchantment and pay for surveil. Well, this isn't. No, you don't get to surveil. You get to connive. But then you connive with no cards in hand. Okay. I guess we're supposed to do that in their own instep. Long match. And the draw against a Gigantha. Probably Domain Zoo. Shredder is pretty good against Domain Zoo. Let's keep on the draw. Put a Moles to five. How's creativity doing, you think? It still feels like it's so fragile. It's fine. Creativity is a playable deck. It's not the best deck in the modern anymore. You could register it. It's kind of tough against Domain Zoo. Um, I, I also kind of think to some extent creativity players reinvent the wheel a little too much trying to like make their old broken deck broken again and just kind of... It just isn't broken anymore. It's just kind of a fine modern deck. Let's bobble ourselves here try to find... That land. Do you find the land? So let's go upkeep he to the monkey. At least Ragavan doesn't get to steal the land. No. Don't don't play the Phantasm. <laughs> don't do it. Thank you. Yeah, let's just let's just go Phantasm Thundering Falls and then just have a 3 3 to block the Ragavan. Dang. Okay, don't need a third shredder. So one DRC, turn two surveillance, turn three bobble, counter offer can't freeze a breach repeating ball a bunch of times in Oracle. I I guess it's it's mostly that you're just gonna like we we played most of this from your yard from breach later in the game. But yeah, you yep. Yeah, it's enhanced surveillance plus press bot plus breach plus DRC, but more in, in actuality it's that with Ledger Shredder and all the surveilling you're doing, um, you're going to have all this stuff in the yard and you're just going to play a Breach, ideally with Enhanced Surveillance already in play and be able to win. Little baby 3-3 three, three, Kavu. Can't even stubbornly denial. I guess I should have upkeeped it to keep the heat so that way I get Kanaev a bit easier. Hmm. That says my hand is awful, and that's what you get from all of the five. <laughs> okay, bringing the slashes, the poison, the breeding pool. Cut an island. Usually, I've, I've been cutting the combo in this matchup. I've been kind of stuck on the number of spell pierces I want post board. Um, the numbers change also kind of as the, the, the deck has changed, I guess. Like, let's, let's go to one, maybe. It's like one one or two, not the biggest deal in the world. Let's just play one. Quick submit. Keep 
this one. Opponents on the play. They do keep seven, no ley line. Another turn one Ragavan. So if I really like my top card, which I don't, I would probably heat on their turn. Instead of heat on my turn to play around stub. Three three Nakato. Keeping Stub up again. Stub or Lightning Bolts. I'm gonna play the Phantasm. If I trade my one mana creature for a one mana removal spell, that's okay. okay. That is what happens, and that is okay. We have Delirium up now. So I guess I guess I guess I'm not supposed to play. I was supposed to heat end of turn. I'll just surveil in the turn. I don't want to. I don't want to walk into the stub. Okay, I'll, now, now I'll fetch shock. It's pretty painful. I'm down to eleven, and then if I shock again, I'm down to nine. Likely, it will be shocking in just to hold up the counter spell. Okay, let's uh, play the strand then. Jake, six months. The flavor of Phantasm is funny because it implies the ghost is frozen in place, thinking about stuff and looking at stuff until it gets big enough to realize it's sitting there doing nothing and goes on aggro. Yeah. <laughs> I agree that that's the flavor. Counterspell the Tribal Flames. Main phase consider. Graveyard Bolt. Breeding pool tapped, hold up counter spell, left a jealous iteration. Does not seem like they have stub in their hand because they left up Trium. Maybe that's a tell that they have binding. Love to be able to cast counter spell on the card rest in peace. Also nice that in smash up pick your poison can snag rest in peace. Two for one. More like uh ten for one. Okay, sorry. I didn't realize I didn't have the uh, vegetable red here. It's okay. It's just still in the hand, I guess. Should I have done anything different? I don't think so. I think this is fine. Should go to surveil land, I guess. So I'm gonna play Thoughtbound Phantasm and then consider. Consider again. Keep that. I guess I'll leave Bolt. I have another source from here. I'll just leave Bolt in the yard so that I can breach Bolt a bunch later. Nice clean 4 for 1 off the breach. I think Domain should play Stalker is the mana too difficult. Probably. It's kinda of, like it's kinda of tough for you to be able to play red, green, and black one drops in turn one. Maybe it could work. Lovely. Then it's Gigantha Mystery card. Let's kind of expect this Gigantha to get cast. I guess I should have done this first, but it's mostly just trying to find a, a land to surveil uh, so that I can make this a 6-6. Six, six. I guess I'll just trade it for Gigantha now. Try to. Pretty ahead. They got no cards in their hand, and my hand is counter spells and card draw.
Bullpen's pretty cool. I mean, Stub is, is, is counters the one ring, you know what I mean? But you can play both. Could be a good card in that deck that nobody's on. It's always the fun part, right? Finding a good card that nobody's on. The dream. I guess they just have the way line. I guess it's the GG's. See so you at the Hunter Burton too. Okay. Oh one two one. I guess we keep this in the draw. How bad would Dick through time be? It would be like the best card, or probably one of the best cards. Yep, yeah, Boardwalk's a great store, been there a lot. I've won a PP. I won like a eighty person, seventy person sealed Eternal Masters PPTQ there back in the day. Well, I'm, I think I'm coming. I've been to Boardwalk too. I'm thinking of Common Ground games. I always get those two mixed up. I've never won a PTQ of Boardwalk. <laughs> I think. There. Looks like we're likely up against Gorios. Keeps the card on top. Upkeep Bobble because of grief. Main phase mending. Always means they have a track in hand. What? <laughs> Never mind. I should say usually means they have a track in hand. Is the surveillance business not worth? I, I we have the surveillance business. I think I think this deck is very good. I like it a lot. Been doing well with it and timeless and modern. I recommend it. So they graveyard Agoria's Vengeance. And also another Mending. And they think about it, and then they put Goryas into their hand. Think about it's interesting, kinda of makes me think they have another one. And then they go for Solitude Ephemerate. They, they don't have a white vegetable. Godless Shrine and Fountain are both in the yard. They don't have a white vegetable. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Um, poor, poor opponent. It could happen to anybody. It could happen to anybody. So we're gonna go play Surveillance, Cast Consider. I guess Cast Consider first. And then, um... Keep, I'll keep it on land. And I'm just going to hold up bolts for the ephemerate on the archaeologist here. Keep another consider, I guess. <clears throat> Check for five. Yeah, this is the uh, Gandalf consider. Would Rainbow Rhinos be even better? I, the deck got nerfed, but it is still a good deck in the format. So they find an attraction to discard. We know they hand his Ephemerate, Gorios, and two mystery cards. Getting a little scary. I think I'll probably just bolt the Archaeologist in the turn. If they don't hold up a white source. Oh, sorry, this is Saruman. Got my wizards confused. Okay, so now that's fine. I'll take I'll take the him to Turok. Let's let's wait a turn on the iteration. I'm gonna go to main phase to consider. If I find Chandler, I'll play it. I, I think I'll keep one one man in the gate with big downside also. Just stop the any top deck Gorios. Especially because they can like they're they're probably gonna go like end of turn Gorios at some point. Let's help them hard cast the Traxes, something we found out in this matchup. 
Yeah, would love to keep a channeler here. I think I just channeler two counter spells up. I wonder if I just actually cast this first. Probably not. No, it's, just, it's always counter spell first, though. Because then we get to hold up the cheaper one later. They don't flashback bending, nor do they cast the Gorios that we know is in their hand. So they pending my channeler. Pretty good play for them. Let's iterate. Somewhat expressively. Okay, so then his Gorio's Ephemerate, they're drawing a Gristlebrand, which is a belt bending away at some point, I'm sure. They don't go for the end of turn, obviously they're playing around the most telegraphed counterspell in the world. If I breach, I can, I can use a breach as like a draw two here, which is maybe what I need to do, although I'm happy to get to play this Shredder. Discard Gristlebrand and Atraxa. Up to 18 life. Cast the Thoughtseize. Take the Counterspell, I imagine. You gain two life with Faithful Mending, you lose two life with Thoughtseize. It all balances out somehow. Me and Esther did watch The, the Godfather recently. <laughs> Is that why I started playing this card? Probably not. They took it with the Thoughtseize. I guess it's, you know, only... It's, uh, yeah. Harder to hold up. They don't have Black Command to go like into turn Gorios if they found another copy. Let's cast a Breach. Am I getting lag? What's happening? <laughs> Just okay. Thought, thought the iteration was. Clicked. Okay, so let me take a look at my card next to see if I want to cast Consider into a land is exactly what happens. We know two of their three cards. It's a good card for them to draw, but not the end of the world. Shuffle away, extra turn. And we get to attack. Yeah, I'll offer you counter defuses so you can get extra mana on your combo turns with Bobble. Draw four cards. <laughs> I have 18 lands, by the way. Fuck. I even shuffled away a land just now. It's gonna mending or an indulgence. Takes the indulgence to be expected. Could have cut Chorus Sorcery and Graveyard. I can get Delirium when I crack my next fetch. Should be alright. So I do have another Surveil Land, right? Yeah, another Surveil Land too. Surveil three with end of turn to dig for the channeler to win the game with. Are the offers better than just playing Ragavan? I, I have one copy of Offer in my deck. I you want, you want one copy of Ragavan instead. Just 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 playing just playing one copy in the deck makes your combo one less mana, and also makes make you, makes you more resilient to interaction when you're comboing. I I do think it's worth playing. They found another Goria's Vengeance, finally. Do we find a Channeler here? Ch triple Surveil. How many Channelers have we used? Just one.
I've been drawing a spell pierce this match. Two, two of those in one offer you can't refuse. We did draw that one. Maybe we just go through our entire deck. <laughs> All natural. Only have 24 cards left. One of them is the fastest oracle. Pretty cool game. Okay, so let me make sure I'm not like drawing one of my fetchables. We can take a look, little bit of a look what's left. We have two counter spells, one oracle, three channelers, one breach, two iterations. A lot, a lot of juice. And we're set up to combo now next turn. Oh yeah, they also have 23, it's funny. Well, one of us has a Thassa's Oracle, and the other one doesn't. Do they have Force of Negation? We know we know two of their cards are Gorio's Ephemerate. Maybe they're thinking about Ephemerating. Oh, I can, heat, I can also heat this Archaeologist now, and they won't be able to Ephemerate it. How much does that matter? Because they have no Fetchable Whites. Seems fine. <laughs> the, the text oracle. Unless they really baited me like a thousand turns ago. With the ha 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 ha. Okay. Gorios of Emirate, three mystery cards. I drew a second Gorios, I drew a second Counterspell. All even Steven. And then cast an Indulgence. Just draws two. If they Gorios attract so they can't Ephemerate it this turn, which would be a problem for, for that play. They just concede. Okay. Sense. Up a game, good to be up a game in this matchup. The scoldings are also like surprisingly very good. You wouldn't like think them, but they, they counter grief, solitude, and archaeologist. So tentatively, this is the sideboard plan to cut all of the red removal spells for these six, but then maybe I think maybe I should just have one bolt over at hand surveillance three. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, hand surveillance is uh aptly named no pick your poison kisser is a big thing no do not do not bring in pick your poison in this matchup it's suggested so often please chat please do not put pick your poison in your deck I'm actually going to switch over here by the way I'm going to not bring in the bolted do not put pick your poison in your deck with the plan to one for one at sorcery speed and Atraxa that's been ephemerated you are going to lose that game every single time you are going to lose that game every single time. You were like 10 for one in yourself. Bad archaeologist. <laughs> Go back to class. Oh, don't bury me. Okay, thank you. So last time I said main phase mending almost always means that they have the big creature in their yard. Or in their hand. Last time they just main phased it and then they discarded. They didn't discard their attracts or aggressive ram. But like, you're, you're usually pretty happy if your opponent counters your mending, so that's it. I think you just almost always want to instant speed them. I think it's a good turn to play enhanced surveillance. Surveil 3... 
Don't love, like, losing a surveil land from the deck, funny enough. Don't think this... I guess I can, I can draw the scolding. And then, like, fetch away. The other one for later. Josie, 18 months. Thank you, welcome back. Prefer design like Surveil Land or more explosive like Ragavan Evoke Element Image 3. What? <laughs> Card design like Surveil Lands or more explosives like Ragavan Evoke Image 3. I mean, it's just. How can. You can't compare lands to, like, creatures. It's. I. I like the Surveil Lands. I think. I like some of the Evoke creatures. I don't like Ragavan that much. <laughs> just, every, every card is its own thing. David, Twitch Prime, thank you. Welcome back. Also, the uh, Evoke Elementals are in image 2, I think. Although, maybe. I guess they are, they are also in image 3. David, Twitch Prime, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. How push to image 3B? Should we be scared? You should, not, you should not be scared about future magic sets. You should be scared about economic collapse and war and losing your job and disease. You should not be scared about Modern Horizons 3, is what I recommend so strongly to you. So they played around another scolding pretty well. It did not work on MH3 at all. I think we just pass. <laughs> yeah, what's the best deck to play around societal collapse? Good question. John probably, because they're very very resilient gamers. I brought any of the Warhammer 40k reserve list mode yet. I don't think I'm going to. I, I don't know. I, I I love Magic Online. I've been playing Magic Online for like 10 years. Um, I don't like to have... Uh, I, don't, I think an extensive Magic Online collection is a scary thing to own. Uh, in a world where Wizards seems like they would, they would just love to replace it with Arena if they could just figure out how to get <laughs> cards on that dang client. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's just, I just prefer to have... Uh, Paper collect paper cards, but think about selling my Pro Tour Gandalf lately. Apparently, that card's like fifteen hundred bucks or something like that. And it's kind of like a nice memento, but would I rather have fifteen hundred bucks memento? Hard to say. Okay, so thankfully, I still have one more Surveil Land, right? Yeah. Should I go for it now? Feels like I can wait a turn. Sell it by a proxy. Now we're talking. If I didn't go to another pro tour, yeah, I could go to Amsterdam or, you know, my birthday is coming up. Do something fun. Figure it out. So yeah, I could take a picture with it. <laughs> Which is about the same as ha like I, I I could just about the same as owning the car, just having a picture of it. It's not like I'm ever gonna cast Gandalf the White. Yeah, Mold Guy finally finished up. Did a good job. Replaced the insulation. The mold guy is a good man, a kind man. <laughs> Where did these come from? Let's go, dude. Guess that's kind of like a surveil zero. Yeah, I'll miss I'll miss the mold man calling me at seven a.m. every day, or sometimes during the stream too. Sometimes twice a day. So you are you, you Gorio's your Atraxa. 
Got a force, force negation over there. Can beat a force of negation. Don't see one here. They also they do find their ephemerate if they didn't already have it. Yeah, I'm just gonna tap in combo. The combo is really nice to have. It's 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 like it's like Splinter Twin. You you have you have two surveillances. You have one Oracle and you have one uh, offer you can't refuse. Sometimes sometimes you board them when you don't need them, but better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Right, Esther? Okay. Um, they put they they put ephemerate thoughts these marsh flats attracts on their hand with the first time, and this time they didn't reveal a solitude or a force of negation. So I think I'm just gonna combo them. Okay, swamp pending indulgence. If you surveil three, this creature only get one counter. Yeah, it's unfortunately. But then you surveil again and gets another counter, and then you surveil again and gets another counter. Alright, goodbye, library. I hardly knew ye. I think they have one unknown card, okay. Not today, Modern Horizons 3. <laughs> I like the design of Surveillance more. <laughs> Fun day today, huh? And then offer you can't refuse is just so nice. Only in only this time. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I hate having one mana, like path to exile negate against this, these kind of matchups. I suppose. I just gotta find my oracle, which should be in here somewhere. Might as well be generating some mana since my opponent's not conceding. Hey, Kobe, we four wonder first league. Uh, very the the match we lost was super close too, and then we O two dropped to play this. Probably don't need to keep making any more mana than this. Okay, um, let's not check the sideboard to make sure I didn't accidentally side out the oracle. Let's all find out together as I surveil these last six cards into the yard. Okay, there it is. <laughs> yeah, it's just finding some matchups. You can you can take like connive it away. If uh, like with with three with three shredders in the deck, you just get to connive it away so often. Too, it just doesn't it just doesn't cost you very much to play it. Because you you mostly just kind of want to end the yard for these kind of turns. Okay, let's get a four one prediction fired up. Four. If I I feel I feel like if I win this match, I'm like locked in for Hunter Burton, baby. Let's go surveil brain. And if I lose, I'm like hmm, maybe I'll consult a dingo on what I'm playing. The sign is here. I, I I need to figure out what I'm doing with it, but it's it's turned off because I guess we we'll go to five. I move I move my setup to where it's not just like behind me, and so I could either have it far back in the wall where it's too far and nobody can see it, or I can have it um, or I can have it here visible and off. So I'm not really sure. Okay, tough mold of five on the play. Not a bad hand overall, but sure wish I had a, another card or two. What's the idea of Phantasm? Big beefy with surveillance? Yes, a big beefy. Big beefy, good. Guess I keep this so I can attack for five with a counter spell up next turn. What mana? Five five. Could be getting bigger. Attack. Ragavan, small, 2-1, blocked by Archaeologist, blocked by Grazer. 
blocked by a young wolf. What brought on the room so we can move a setup? I just kind of realized there was a better layout, kind of simply, like, in the corner. Like, the, the room is just more open. It's, it's like, it's, I don't know. It's like maybe a little worse for the viewer and, like, better for me. Keep a shredder. Halfling is obviously pretty pretty frustrating here. Well, the five is pretty bad. They didn't tap the cauldron. <laughs> that can't be right. Although this cast of the yog, I'll concede. I think I know I'm drug shredder. Tough bold the to five on the play. Turn three uncounterable yog with these two already too. Sheesh. Okay, let's bring in the scoldings and the slashes. Needle. Down a needle. Maybe it should not be down a needle. Another matchup where I've been cutting the combo. I can just play control usually. And then I think it's usually that I'm cutting the spell pierces. I kind of want to have one spell pierce. Maybe it's one down one pierce, one shredder. Shredder's obviously not great against Bowmasters, but it isn't bad overall, and we have a lot of answers to Bowmasters. Let's keep the Shredders in, just the flying is probably pretty good enough. You didn't even see they had it? I knew I was drawing! I knew I was drawing Ledger Shredder next turn, not something that could interact with the board in any given way. My opponent, I'm already down two cards, I'm a mulligan to five on the play. They get to start sacking your young wolf's drawing cards, like plus three cards. They already have three other cards in their hand, I think, two or three. I'm conceding for your benefit. I'm conceding for your benefit so we can move on a, a, a lost game in this league. <laughs> Could have been a bluff. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Mulligan again. Very, very awkward hand. Let's keep on... I'm going to keep... Tap lands, am I right? There's a red source to keep that. It's not a red source, so it's a graveyard. Peatland Young Wolf is interesting. Pretty scared of Bowmaster. But I think I'm just gonna slam two channelers here. Yeah, when I put Breeding Pool in, I usually cut um, a Fetchland or an Island, kind of depending on how important I think my life total is. Usually the island, though. Wall of Roots. Cool. I'll take, I'll take that. Deal. Graveyard Sapatra. Imagine Legion's in here, too. Okay, pass back for a turn. Holds up Endurance. I don't think I can say no to Breach with me having two channelers in play. It's like almost good enough to cast right now. Let's see what they do end of turn. Cord for one. Okay, so this is probably for Halfling, which I'll just heat. Could could be for another Young Wolf, which wouldn't be that big a deal. Graveyarding, basically anything. Just want food for the Breach. Remember, I don't have my combo in at the moment, so this is mostly, you know, value. Value breach, but should be a lot of value. Keep iteration. It's kind of close to graveyard anything. Seem, seems like I should keep it. Nice to see them stumbling like I am. Okay. So this is delirium after the iteration resolves. Definitely going to keep this bobble. Keep both baubles? Sure. So I do kind of think that they have endurance. 
potentially. So I'll try to play around that a little bit by casting this here first. Okay. So now I'll, I'll get to bubble, crack bubble three times basically if I graveyard both times here. And then also get a couple more surveils. Halfling on the top of their library. Word game. Uh, yeah, I think just to turn on Delirium next turn is probably fine. I'm also going to crack this bubble now, just to make possible Bowmasters less scary. If they have quarter Bowmasters, we get kind of wrecked. Although I guess... Um, no, they get to kill both, because they, they ping the first one, and then I get Delirium, and then they ping the rest. Why not attack before I do the play? Because then they can, if I attack first, then they can go Endurance, and then they can block the other one with Young Wolf. I wanted to keep both of my channelers alive. Maybe, maybe keeping the Breach better, if that's what you're saying. I think that's kind of reasonable. So they also shuffled away their Halfling. Well, this sucks. I think I have to crack the bubble. I, I know I, I think I crack on their turn. Just don't have anything. After the endurance, when you play bobble, you hit delirium before casting the bobble from the yard. After the endurance, when you play bobble, you hit delirium. Oh, sorry, I, I missed that there was a window where I had delirium. I thought I'm pretty sure I didn't though, because I I would have never had more than three cards in my yard at the same time. Do they have grist plus cauldron this turn? All right, GGS. Hmm. So still looking for the Hunter Burton deck now that we've lost this one after bowling to five, bowling to six. Yeah, I don't I never had more than three cards in the yard after the endurance. Kinda doesn't matter, right? If I if I did I should have, and if I didn't I should not have. Maybe we're supposed to keep the combo in. It's just so tough with cauldron and endurance. Is your needle for cauldron, kinda of too late. Heat, kinda of too late. Okay, tough stuff. Good stopping point for today. Still a deck I'm liking uh, a lot. Um Might still play it in a hundred burton this weekend. Back tomorrow, might play some flame of a snap flame of an ore tomorrow, either Jeskai or Blue Red. Um, 